guys around the house. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview and product demonstration of the Makita DCL 180Z cordless vacuum cleaner. Out of the box, we get the extending pole, we get this attachment, this attachment, and we get the bare shell of the vacuum cleaner. Now please bear in mind, when you purchase this, you do need to buy the Makita LXT batteries as an extra. And it is the battery that is the expensive part. So we can place this attachment directly into the vacuum itself or we can attach the extendable pole and then add this piece into the pole at the end allowing you to hoover while stood up. We've then got this attachment which again can go straight into the unit itself or again with the extendable pole in place it can go into the end of that which again allows you to stand up while hoovering. So this vacuum accepts the Makita LXT 18 volt batteries and that just slots into place like that. I find this vacuum excellent for all sorts of jobs around the house. It's ideal if you're hoovering the car, stood up cleaning the floor, cleaning up after the kids, or cleaning up after the dog, or keeping the room tidy doing our favourite here at Pouse Around the House, some basic DIY. To clean the hoover out, we just rotate the unit anti-clockwise like that, hold it over a bin, and you'll find all your bits will drop out, and that is where all your dirt and dust will be stored. It's got a filter. The filter stops all the debris getting into the motor, and you can take this off and give this a clean in the bin as well. I always find the perfect tool for cleaning these filters is just a bog standard paintbrush. If you want to remove or change the filter, just rotate it anti-clockwise and the filter comes off like that. It's worth giving this a quick blow just to remove any excess dust. Always ensure the filter is on when using the hoover. This avoids any dust getting into the motor. When replacing the filter, just make sure these grooves go behind the little plastic slots on the hoover. Rotate clockwise, securing the filter behind the grooves and now that can't come away. Take the outer casing Place it over the bottom half of the hoover, line the two marks up together, secure in, rotate, and the hoover is back together. So this vacuum is not going to replace your everyday household hoover. However, it is a brilliant addition to keep as a second vacuum. It's ideal for hoovering up crumbs, cleaning the car, catching dust when you're drilling walls. If you're cleaning up wood shavings or dust off the floor, it does a cracking job. Just remember to clean it out on a regular basis as the chamber is only 0.65 litres, which isn't a huge amount, but it does the job for small tasks. The only downside to this is you do need a Makita LXT battery, and these batteries are quite expensive. However, if you've got LXT batteries floating around which you use with your other Makita tools, then this vacuum is well worth the money. Now I've seen it stated on the internet that only the 4 amp and the 5 amp hour batteries work with this vacuum. Well this is a 3 amp hour battery and this works perfectly every time with a vacuum and this is the one I've been using in this video. You also need to consider that you need a charger to charge these LXT batteries and if you're buying one of those separately, again, it's more money. For me, I already have the batteries because I use them in the range of my Makita LXT tools. So therefore, for 30 quid, this was a brilliant addition to my tool kit. So my view on this Makita vacuum Tidy! For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta! Farewell!